this website is making eight thousand dollars per month where you can log in and then upload different pdf files then do the modifications with pdf files and download them hold on i'm lying not this website but this website is making eight thousand dollars per month let me explain I went to IndieHackers.com website and choose the product section. Inside the product section, I choose the existing businesses that generates from 3 to 30k per month. And inside this list, I found this website that generates 8k. And in this video, I will show you how I created a similar website step by step using AI no code tool. Let's go. So let's go to lovable.dev and write a long, long, long uh, input in terms of what we want it to build. I am inserted a message that I want a Next.js website with dashboard, with clerk, uh, with owls, with dashboard page, with PDF uh, editing, with uh, uh, file limitations and so on and so forth. But I said, uh, do not do anything, just just read this and put this into your knowledge base. After that, I inserted my first prompt regarding like a let's create a landing page and something like that. And within 30 from 30 to 60 seconds, Lovable is able to produce a pretty much beautiful landing page. This is, was the first simple step. But please keep in mind, Lovable is not capable for working with Next.js. They are using their own framework with React and Byte on the background. So it will be their own framework. You won't be able to manage and control these things, unfortunately. But the rest of things are really, really, really good and great. Okay, so as you see, it's already added a dummy data to a landing page, which is which is pretty damn good because I know that uh, many AI editors is not doing that, which is really disappointing. But these guys managed to do these things. So I started building a second task where I said, okay, let's build a dashboard page. Uh, it's just an empty page uh, in my initial description. So Lovable was able to handle that just within, I don't know, 10 seconds or something like that. Then I said, okay, let's work on authentication with clerk.com. So once again, I didn't provide any information regarding clerk, regarding anything, and Lovable starts trying to implement clerk. Of course, it's created an error saying, can you please add clerk publisher key? You have to go to clerk API, copy uh, the API key and insert it here. This is not the best practice, uh, to be honest. You can insert it uh, to a knowledge uh, base. Uh, it's near the so super base, if you see uh, on top of the right. And uh, clerk is ready. So let's try to uh, create our account. Um, once again, keep in mind that when you're working with AI tools, nothing will work from the first try. This is the reality. So you will have to fix the bug and try to understand what is not working because our first issue with Clark was uh, the password was um, too short and it didn't return to us an error notification. Uh, the second issue was that we were trying to sign in when we didn't have the account and so on and so forth. So uh, AI, especially lovable, uh, will give you these errors and uh, sometimes you won't be able to make it work. So that's why a good life hack, just go to the next task, skip not working functionality. That's fine. That's absolute. It, it's not critical. You can fix that later on. Uh, so that's why I went to uh, the next phase of uploading PDF functionality, connecting to Amazon S3, Superbase and all these kind of things. So AI said, OK, let's connect your Superbase account and do all the magic on the background. So I went to my Superbase and uh, using this connect button, I managed to do the connection. Uh, scrolling down, yes, let's do the connection. It's taking five, 10 seconds uh, of using all these things on the background and Superbase is connected. Cool, great. Uh, so this is our project. <clears throat> and then let's go to Superbase and check uh, if the connection was completed. Yes, so we have uh, two tables that's been created by the AI and looks like connection is working. 
but they are empty right now. Cool. Uh, on top of that, uh, I mentioned in my description that we have to create some kind of association with user ID uh, via Clark and uh, via our database because it's 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 important because without that we won't be able to do anything. Okay, cool. Uh, so um, then we have to uh, continue doing our troubleshooting and implementing step by step these things. So uh, I said, okay, let's implement the first part for user creation, sign up with Clark, PDF upload functionality, and things like that. Um, once again, Clark uh, is will produce errors, so that's fine. Uh, but uh, recently, Clark starts working. Uh, what you see on the screen right now. Um, I do not know how this AI magic works, but sometimes uh, if you start working on some different functionality, it can fix the previous bugs and issues. So as you see on the dashboards uh, on the right, uh, you can already upload the PDF file or at least try to upload the PDF. Uh, many times you have to click fix, fix, fix. Uh, sometimes uh, you have to go to ChatGPT uh, copy the issue and ask it to do troubleshooting. This is, by the way, another life hack if you're working with Lovable. Because what I've uh, found, sometimes it uh, can produce an uh, issue and jump into this infinitive loop of trying to fix the issue, but it's unable to fix that. This is unfortunate, but the part of a troubleshooting process uh, is just a uh, go to ChatGPT, Cloud, explain the issue and ask them to help AI to fix that. Okay, let's go step by step with Superbase right now and implement uh, uh, a PDF viewer component because AI said it's implemented, but in reality, it's not implemented. It's just a standard hallucination from the AI, which is, which is, I think is okay nowadays if it can fix that uh, uh, pretty quickly. So. That, that's fine. Let's take a look uh, what we have. Of course, error. That's fine. Once again, uh, just to, do not forget to do a troubleshooting. After each step, you have to do a troubleshooting. Make sure uh, that your system is working. Make sure that uh, it can handle those uh, things that you're asking. Sometimes you have to go to a super base, change their less policies or do this manually. It depends on uh, what AI output will give to you. So in my case, looks like it was able to handle it by itself. That's fine. I can do the same thing in super base. But once again, if I'm a, a person with zero coding experience, I have to rely on what AI is writing for me. Okay. Let's go to the database. As you can see, uh, uh, data uh, is uh, created. Um, you can see this on this schema. Okay, uh, so uh, with the database and let's go inside our database. Uh -huh, it's empty. Let's go to another one. Uh, it's empty too. Okay, cool. So uh, some functionality is working. Uh, we fixed uh, the, looks like the connection, but uh, the data is not added to uh, Superbase. That's fine. Once again, step by step troubleshooting. This is probably the most important skill that you have to learn when you will work with these AI tools. You have to always and always troubleshoot. Right now, profile created successfully. Cool. Let's go and check uh, what do we have into our uh, database. Uh, so pro profile ID. Awesome. Yeah, finally, we have a user that associated to a clerk. Great. Cool. <laughs> finally, AI figure out what we need and fix that. Great. Now let's uh, upload something and call it new. And let's see if it will work. Of course not. Did you expect something else? <laughs> you just need to copy the issue and start uh, doing the troubleshooting. Um, and within a few attempts and tries, uh, you will encounter another issues and another and another, you will try to fix that. Once again, if you do not understand uh, what it's doing, 
you have to go to ChatGPT, Claude, or anything like that and see if it's added the data to a database. Because um, Claude or ChatGPT can give you in another angle of uh, troubleshooting this problem. So we have a disabled service policy in the uh, project table. And let's see what AI will set. Uh, okay, the so main changes, a simplified file pass, removing RLS. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, awesome. Let's give it a try. Nope, not working. Okay, so this is an error, as you can see in the database. Uh, uh huh. Yep, uh, with policies, everything fine. But here is the error. Uh, so I'm just writing what do I have, uh, because uh, AI is pretty smart and it's uh, explaining what they did. Once again, sometimes it will hallucinate, sometimes uh, you have to use another AI providers uh, to do a troubleshooting. This is, once again, this is the reality, guys. So uh, I'm just doing a real troubleshooting right now uh, with my team and we just uploading a different documents, catching sometimes the same, sometimes different errors. Uh, finally, we managed to upload something. Great. Let's... Uh, Let's celebrate, I suppose. <laughs> Failed to load. <laughs> Great. Awesome. So, uh, in a couple of attempts uh, and all these fixes, uh, I was managed to fix that. So, now we can see a PDF file. And uh, do not forget to use a Google console to track the issues that you face. Sometimes you have to copy them uh, because they will help you to manage and handle all these kind of things. Do not forget to copy them, explain what, what is the issue is and so on and so forth. Because this is uh, how you will work with the AI. Uh, try to um, do a troubleshooting, try to ask AI add as much as possible um, issues inside the different outputs into the console log everywhere so you can catch those issues and understand what's going right what's going wrong on top of that uh, i'm writing something like i'll write pdf is visible but editing function is not working keep in mind that um, if something is not working that's fine uh, just use a plain text to explain what's not working copy the error issue and uh, insert it to a chat and AI will start trying to fix these issues. Uh, by the way, I remember um, when uh, I did that, uh, another issue appeal that um, AI at some point decides to break functionality that was already working. That's also part of troubleshooting process. So. Uh, not always it will produce a clean working code. Sometimes you have to uh, troubleshoot the issue that was already solved. So just using a plain text explain that the functionality uh, that's been working previously is not working so it can make a reverse back. So as you can see right now uh, we see the PDF files um, and uh, we want to edit page. Um, the thing is, when I did this editing, uh, troubleshooting, I found out that uh, React uh, libraries by default is not working. They're working, but not as uh, they're supposed to do. So uh, the logic behind the scene is like I transform the PDF into HTML, edit the HTML, and then uh, transform the HTML back into a PDF. Yeah, I know, it's... it's uh, um, Maybe not the best way, but it's fine. So, once again, this is a continuation of troubleshooting. And then I encounter this, um, this, yes, as you can see on the screen, when I was trying to edit something, it starts producing, um, I don't know, what is that? Where did it take these things? Um, Probably this is the part of AI hallucinations or reality. And then it starts making these things. Yes. Um, so I was trying to explain, please do not do these things because uh, the text is too big. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so it's a lost understanding of... Um, uh, by the way, as you see on the screen right now, the positioning uh, is incorrect. Uh, so you see the a lot of blank space. So um, then I decided to explain these things to the AI. 
by the way, just to using a plain text explaining that, hey, buddy, this is uh, not how it's uh, supposed to be. As you see uh, on the screen, uh, there's a tons of issues uh, with the positioning and things like that. And uh, after a few attempts, uh, AI was able to fix that. So once again, uh, developing using AI no code tools uh, it's just about doing troubleshooting. You explaining using text what's need to be done, and then uh, you using console log, using uh, different errors, using different uh, AIs. You are doing troubleshooting again and again and again and again. This is how you would be able to produce something as you see on the screen right now. So I, I'm explaining like a, there's a pixel uh, positioning issues and uh, these kind of things. So <clears throat> and then uh, I'm saying, OK, can you please uh, fix that? Uh, and uh, within a few attempts, AI was able to fix that finally. So as you see on the screen, this is works perfectly fine. And uh, to be honest, and of course, you can download it, uh, check it. Uh, let's check. Yeah, awesome. Blank, empty, of course, then we have to continue our troubleshooting. So uh, within few additional attempts, uh, and spend, uh, to be honest, I spent a few hours of uh, doing these things with my team. And uh, we managed in the end achieve uh, these results that you see on the page, uh, just a landing page, login with the um, clerk, then you can upload a bunch of different uh, PDF documents and then uh, you can do the modification and uh, upload it back. Once again, uh, this AI tool, uh, you can polish it, you can make it perfect. It's just a matter of time and a matter of effort. But uh, as I showed to you that all these things is pretty easy, simple and straightforward. It's all about troubleshooting right now. Nothing more. By the way, you know what's killing most micro SaaS startups? Information overwhelm. That's why people get stuck before they even start. But that's not even the worst part. Instead of building your actual product, you waste months setting up Stripe payments, creating landing pages, configuring emails, optimizing SEO, adding meta tags, creating sitemap, setting up block, managing databases, building user owls, designing user profiles, and fixing infinitive bugs. That's why most people give up. But I've been through this pain 15 times. I spent hundreds of hours on these repetitive tasks, but I knew there had to be a better way. So I built the Micro SaaS Fast Starter Kit, a complete SaaS starter kit that helped me launch three successful projects, making over $10,000 already. That's why I'm sharing this with you now. But here's the twist. You don't need to waste months building basic features that are already done. And you don't need to spend weeks overthinking about minimum features set for a quick launch one week with my ready-to-use infrastructure and you can start making money from your microsas today link in the description see you guys